Illuminati Chronicles, a dystopian story, written by Lockie Barreto. It all started when nanomachines became available to the public in 2029. It was like the iPhone for a new generation. They were mechanical devices that had the ability to heal any damaged or diseased tissue in your body at a microscopic level. It was thought that they would make humans immune to almost all types of diseases, and even be able to cure cancer. They would also allow us to improve our physical potential, including our mental capacity. Nanomachines were coveted by the governments of the world because of all the applications that they had to offer. Worldwide distribution of them began in the year 2033 to newborn babies, similar to a vaccine. But it didn't stop there. People were now enhancing their bodies so that no one would have any physical advantages or disadvantages over anyone else. And everyone could now live in a society where they could be physically equal. Nanomachines allowed the human body to function even better than the body of a natural human athlete. But their potential was not just limited to the physical either. As of 2038, a new upgrade for the nanomachines was released. People began to program information into their brains using nanomachines that were specifically designed to mimic brain cells. And this is where it all started to go downhill. The line between man and machine had begun to blur. People were now able to gain limitless amounts of knowledge on virtually every subject almost instantly. By the year 2040, an estimated 89% of the world's entire population had become biologically enhanced by nanomachines. This year also marked the beginning of an event that has come to be known as the information crisis. What happened was that a person's knowledge had no longer become determined by their age or qualifications. Hence the school system collapsed because students no longer needed to attend classes in order to receive an education. Nanomachines allowed people to learn anything they wanted by simply programming it directly into their brains. From then on, everything began to unravel. The collapse of the school system led to decreased job security, and because now, everyone had the opportunity to apply for whatever job they wanted. This caused unemployment for large amounts of people due to the lack of job security. And even for those who had a job, their salary was very low because of how many people the business was obliged to give paychecks to. As a result, the world economy had began to collapse in on itself. And by the year 2045, the situation had become desperate. The governments of the world had begun to lose control over their citizens because of how much power nanomachines enabled them to have. And desperate times call for desperate measures, so a group of world leaders stepped in and offered a radical solution, that in order to maintain a stable and structured society, people must be assigned to a specific role that they must fulfill. This would ensure that the progress of mankind was maintained. Many political authorities were opposed to this, because they thought it would be unethical. But since the situation was so critical, they took a vote and decided to go forward with it, hoping that it would prevent chaos and restore order to the global community. Little did they know 
that the group of world leaders who had suggested the idea in the first place were actually members of the Illuminati in disguise, who were going to use this crisis as a way of starting a new world order run exclusively by them. In fact, the company that had invented the nanomachines in the first place, Iris Industries, had been working with the Illuminati from the beginning. They had orchestrated this entire thing, and on December 7th, 2046, those members of the Illuminati were given clearance by the rest of the world leaders to broadcast a signal that matched the frequency of the nanomachines. This allowed the Illuminati to gain control over them. In other words, they hacked the nanomachines that were implanted into everyone's brain in order to take control over their minds. After doing this, they were now in the position to finish what they had started. Thank you for listening.